girls just hide your mess. These new girls, they wanted everybody. Everyone's man's name was in their mouth. These men belong to certain women. Hey guys, it's V and welcome back to my channel. <sighs> Feels so good to be back. How are you guys doing? Great, I'm great. Let's just get into tonight's episode. Episode number two. I hope you guys download a Peacock. The show only comes on six weeks. So which means you only need Peacock for two months. Just spend the $10. Like the show's never going back to CBS. CBS is not planning on renewing it. Peacock is going to be their new home. Tell them Peacock. Don't be difficult. Please. Okay, let's just talk about tonight's episode. It started where we left off last. <laughs> Don't you guys miss me saying that? So we pick up where we left off last. Two new girls, they arrived. Jesse and Felipe went to go meet them for a little date. The two new girls. First girl, her name is Valerie. She's tatted, long dark hair. She's from Costa Rica. I didn't catch her age. I'm not sure if they said their ages. The second new girl, her name is Maddie. She's blonde. Dad's not the only blonde now. I'm sorry, but Maddie's giving white chicks. She looks like the Wayne's white chicks version. No, God knows my heart. God knows my heart, so sorry. So all four of them had a date. The two new girls, Jesse and Felipe, I honestly, there was really no vibes and no energy for me. It was just people meeting and asking basic questions. What do you look for? What's your sign? What do you like? Are you attracted to anybody over here? Are you excited to go into the villa? You know, basic shit like that. So after their date, they're entering the villa. Did you guys see Valerie and Felipe holding hands? I was like, Valerie, let go. Felipe, y'all can let go now. Do your feet hurt? Like, y'all just met. Oh, my God. Serenity was stressed. You would have thought Serenity was dating Felipe for, like, months. That girl just met him a few hours ago, and that girl has claimed to territory. Mark Felipe up. That's hers and hers only. Oh, my God. Let's talk about Deb and Jesse. The next morning, the date was still on Deb's mind. Like, the sister stressed out. Jesse has expressed that his type are, like, blondes. Like, Jesse... He likes blondes. You lost Jesse, like, the fuck? Okay. During the conversation, we learned that Jesse has strong feelings for Deb already, and Deb has strong feelings for Jess already. They literally just met the day before, but they feel some type of spark. But the thing about it is, they're both not really expressing that to each other. Deb feels all these feelings for him, but she's saying all of this stuff in the confessional and she's not telling him. So with him, he's thinking she's nonchalant. He doesn't know where her head's at and she's over here going crazy over him. Y'all know my favorite phrase, closed mouths don't get fed. I know it's been one day, but there's two new girls in the house. You gotta put the pressure. Now let's move on to my girl Serenity and Felipe. Serenity is also stressed out about Felipe being on a date with the two new girls. The thing about it is, like, Serenity's making me nervous because I feel like Serenity's showing, like, she's kind of possessive in a way. And I don't want that to be her downfall. I see people are saying, oh, Felipe doesn't like Serenity. Felipe doesn't like Serenity. If Felipe didn't want Serenity at that whole lineup, he could have really said, I want to go for another girl. So we're not about to play Serenity. Serenity is a bad, beautiful woman. So let's not even do that. But there are things that a woman can do that can push a man away. So I don't want Serenity to like show signs of quick jealousy and that's gonna scare him. The new girls were like all over the place. They liked every single guy. Maddie thought Isaiah was hot. Valerie thought Isaiah was hot. Maddie thought Jesse was hot. Valerie thought Jesse was hot. I feel like the girls are so much better than the guys. I must got bear goggles on because I'm not seeing what they're seeing. Wait, we got our first group text message tonight and it was only right that Zita got the text message. I mean, she is the baddest. 
okay? Zeta Islands. I love how that flows off the tongue. Last year was cachet, this year is Zeta. Love that for us. It's game time. <laughs> the island don't play. The game was someone did something, like it's facts, and you have to guess who the fact belongs to by kissing them. Basically, the game is about kissing who you want to kiss. It's not always about guessing who did that. I feel like it's a game for people to kiss who they want to kiss and get away with it. The first question, whose parents brought them a new set of boobs as their graduation gift? Andy picked his partner, Courtney. And the correct answer was Serenity. Yep, the pastor's daughter. <laughs> Next question, which girl broke the bed while having Isaiah chose a new girl, Valerie? Yo, their kiss was intense, you guys. Isaiah and Valerie's kiss, like they exchanged tongues and everything. I was like, like this is too much. The correct answer was Courtney. The next question, which girl had sex for eight hours in a 24 hour time frame? Who has sex for eight hours? That's just ignorant. And insulting, like, okay, rounds, I get it, but eight hours, that's a whole shift at work. Like, I will be looking at the clock every 10 seconds. But anyways, Timmy chose the new girl and he was correct. I'm sorry, that's not cute, that's exhausting. Eight hours? I got better things to do. The next question, which girl hooked up with a guy her friend was dating? Felipe chose new girl Valerie. Serenity didn't like that. She looked stressed. And Felipe was correct. I'm looking at Valerie like sideways now. She said it happened in high school, I don't care. That's part of your character. Like, why are you hooking up with your friend's man? I wonder if a friend ever found out. Like, that deserves to be down. Now it's the lady's turn. First question. This boy cheated on his girlfriend of six months during a family vacation in Mexico. Courtney chose Jesse, but when she pulled Jesse, she jumped on top of him and went in for the kiss. The way she jumped up on him, like she was waiting, like, pounce on that. But anyway, Courtney chose Jesse and she was correct. This man cheated on his girlfriend on a family vacation. Ignorance. Next question went to Serenity. This boy got over his ex by getting under four girls within five days. She chose Timmy. She kissed his face off. The correct answer was Andy. I'm sorry, I don't believe that. He needs to cite his sources. I need his sources to step up. I don't believe that. Next question. This boy had a foursome. Him and three girls. She chose Felipe. <laughs> they kissed each other's faces off. But Valerie was correct. Yo, Felipe is freaky, freaky and trifling, yo. After that game, you know, everyone's looking at each other differently, of course. But Deb, Deb is spiraling. She, she's been cheated on before. I mean, I feel like that's the reality for a lot of people. Knowing that Jesse and how she really feels about him in one day, the fact that he cheated on his girlfriend of six months, like she's like going crazy. But the girls are like, girl, calm down. Everyone makes mistakes. Maybe that was a lesson learned and he changed his ways. I don't judge. Six months is not a long time, but I feel like, yeah, six months is a long time. But on a family vacation though, like, you just having sex with strangers? Come on, Jesse. Protect your dick. The episode ended with new girl Valerie. She got a text. It's gonna be recoupling time and they get to choose any guy to recouple with, leaving two girls single. When it came to a new girl, Maddie, she was going back and forth between Andy and Timmy. She was feeling the connection with Timmy, his vibes. He's a New Yorker, I told y'all, you know, New Yorkers, we just got that swag, you know? I'm not surprised she vibed with Andy, okay? Andy already expressed that he's a mama's boy, he works with his mom, and turned Courtney off, but Maddie, on the other hand, she works with her family. So, right there, they share, like, 
that one huge component, that connection. Family bonds, I mean, that's a tight bond. Valerie was going back and forth between Jesse and Isaiah, okay? Valerie has a conversation with Jesse. She tells Jesse, you know, I kind of feel a little connection here. I don't know what it is. I wouldn't mind exploring that. So if I picked you, would you be happy about that? And Jesse's like, like, the boy nodded so hard. Like, I'm like, I like you really thought like his head was gonna disconnect from his neck. Like he was nodding his head off, literally. Commercial break. We had to talk about Sydney. Isaiah and Sydney are having a chat where Isaiah's letting Sydney know, like, you have all these wonderful things that I like about you, but there's something missing. And she's like, Oh, do you not like me? Da -da -da. And it's like, Sydney, calm down. Sydney likes Isaiah, but Sydney's not letting Isaiah know how much she likes him. So Isaiah's pouring all into her, and she's just, I really believe. Sydney seeing him talk to the new girls has her all up in her head. Coupled up with the fact that she's 22. What were you doing at 22? 22, I got my first weed. Like, I was not thinking about going on a show or doing something like this. You know, 22, your mom still makes your doctor's appointments. I can tell Sydney's not emotionally mature for this kind of environment. The fact that Isaiah spoke his truth and you're like flipping already. She was crying. She's like, oh my God, he doesn't like me. If he doesn't like me, he can just leave me alone. And that's not what he said. And that's not what he's saying. That's what she interpreted. Because all she heard during his whole entire spiel was just one thing that I, I can't put my finger on about you. And she just automatically is, she's in a downward spiral. Now you see, this environment, this situation... You only got, you only have that much opportunity. So if she, if you like Isaiah Sydney, you have to open up your mouth and say something before he gets snatched up. And then you're watching him around the villa with the next girl while you're over here bitter, unhappy, feeling all these feelings, but you were just too scared to open up your mouth and express them. <sighs> the reason why I had to pause that was because in the middle of Sydney and Isaiah's conversation, new girl Valerie pulled Isaiah to chat and I think that's also what made Sydney get that much more emotional. I can't cradle Sydney tonight. I can't. Anyway, it's too Isaiah and Valerie also had a great chat. Listen, Valerie said that Isaiah is her type to the T. Physically, everything Isaiah has, she loves. Episode ends with the recoupling. Maddie. During her recoupling speech, she said she wants to couple up with this guy because she wants to be pursued, and this person cares about his family. She ended up choosing Andy. I feel like that was the best choice for her. They're both equally yoked. They're both sweets, but I cannot watch an entire season of those two. I'd rather watch paint dry. Valerie. Now, this was a wild card. I did not know who the fuck Valerie was going to choose. Valerie said, this guy is handsome, confident. He pushed her to trust her gut. He's not intimidated by her presence. They have similar personalities and that's attractive to her and also he's freaking hot. I don't know who she chose because the episode ends. I think she might go for Jesse. If she picks Isaiah the way Sydney is going to go crazy, I'm not ready for that. Ooh, this is going to be a good season. Get Peacock. Please get Peacock. I'm nervous because I feel like the two girls that lose their men are going to get dropped immediately from the villa. I really feel like Courtney and Deb are going to be going home. Let's see if I'm right. What are y'all predictions? Write in the comments. Let's talk. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night.